So yeah, Friday. I made it to that halfway point. <laughs> I made it halfway through the month and halfway through my word goal and I'm just, uh, I don't know if it's just how cold and rainy it is today or the fact that my baby wouldn't sleep. I just don't have it in me right this minute to try to write words even with you know, overtired, fuss, budget, wandering around, crying and meowing. I just don't have it in me to edit my vlog from the last three days. I just, I'm just, I'm a little pooped. Hello. Oh, getting in the way. Oh, getting in the way. I have a star, at least one, every single day on the calendar. So I really do not like breaking a good streak. I really do not. So... I will almost definitely get at least 500 words today. Looks like sleet, actually. And now it's doing this. The weather on the 16th just got worse and worse. And I just was not in a great mood either. I managed to squeeze out 500 and some words so that I would get a star. And on the 17th, I remained in a lousy mood and headachey and I pulled it together to write in the evening about a thousand words, just over a thousand, I think 1,100. And the 18th was yesterday and I didn't write at all. This was the first day this month that I didn't write at all. Every day I've written at least 500 words and gotten at least one star sticker. I just did not have it in me. Even though the weather has gotten somewhat better, it was very dreary for a few days here. Um, I'm feeling like a little sprinkle every now and again here. So, um, but it's not as cold. It's not snowing anymore. <laughs> yeah, yesterday my baby did not sleep and it wasn't just a well naps over. I kept trying to get the baby back to sleep and spent a whole bunch of time that way. I don't know why I've been just headachey lately and just tired and a little bit grumpy lately and just you know nothing is like a one big thing no major concern everything is just a lot of little things that just are adding up to be too much and that's like this is not my brand right I'm like smiley and optimistic and you know yeah I'm just a little bit toast right now I'm just a little bit I've been like re-watching NCIS for the third time and uh, I don't know it's like the the well is the well is running dry right so so here I am. I'm like, you know what? Life is hard. And as much as I'm like enormously grateful, you know, for these adorable children and the fact that I have the privilege of staying home with them and I'm not like an essential worker out risking my life all the time. And, uh, you know, I, I have a lot that I'm really grateful for. And that puts me in a space where I don't let myself um, have like the complaints and like, what what do you really have to complain about? I mean, come on. So I'm like, my library has been closed to browsing for like ever. Two of the librarians have had COVID. So, uh, 
you know, you, uh, what world do we live in when being a librarian is so risky? It's a frontline worker, you know, and I just, it, it's all a lot. It's all a lot. I saw this meme the other day that was so right. <laughs> like, I don't know whether to laugh or cry about this meme. And it's just a lot. I bummed to, you know, never be able to, like, take my kids places where they can talk to other people besides me. Yep, it's starting to sprinkle. And where I could talk to other adults. Um, you know, my extended family doesn't get to meet the baby and did all these things that, you know, uh, like milestone things that just don't get to happen now. And there's all this other stuff where, you know, like trying to coordinate and like coordinating everyone's everything is always my job and trying to figure out, uh, like connecting other people. And I'm like, I, this isn't about me or for me. Someone needs a ride from someone else and they need to coordinate schedules for an appointment to get the COVID vaccine. Like, why are you coming through me? Like, just talk to each other. Everything is always through me and I'm just, I'm tapped out. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to write today. I don't know. I don't care right now. Um, I am doing something that I think is good, feels productive, and might help. I am beta reading for Emily Bourne. This is the third book in the Brittany and Charlie series, and I betaed for her on the first two. So there's a, like, seeing old friends feeling about hanging out with these characters again, and also just, uh, like, being on a different end at a different point in the creative process to be a beta reader and, um, you know, it's writing adjacent, but it's, you know, like a team effort, a bunch of betas and, uh, you know, helping somebody else with their creative baby. And so I'm like, I hope this helps. I hope this, you know, feels like, yeah, refilling that well. So I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just off my game. I'm just... So until next time, <laughs> I am Moon Petri, even if I'm not the Moon Petri you usually see. And I hope that if you are feeling that that uh, midpoint slump with this month or with whatever you're doing, if you are getting overwhelmed, that you extend yourself some grace rewatch something you've already watched too many times, find a way to refill your well, or, you know, don't. Like, put your feet up and eat some candy. Uh, you, be kind to yourself, that's all. <laughs>